Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash, also known as Nano Banana, is the new big thing in the world of AI, and it's now available on Adobe Firefly. With features like hybrid reasoning, targeted editing, and character consistency, I'll show you how to easily create viral-worthy images in this Adobe Firefly sponsored video. With Nano Banana as a partner model on the Firefly platform, not only can we generate state-of-the-art images, but also make professional photo edits using only text prompts. So let's head over to Adobe Firefly and see what all Gemini 2.5 Flash or Nano Banana can do. To access Adobe Firefly and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. So here's the Adobe Firefly homepage. For this demonstration, we'll be using the text to image tool to test out the Gemini 2.5 Flash capabilities. So to access the text to image tool, let's start by going to the image tab at the top menu here. And the text to image tool should be the first one at the top. Let's click it to open it up. This should take us to the text to image menu on Adobe Firefly. By default, the model being used is the Firefly image model. But since we want to try out the Gemini 2.5 Flash Nano Banano model, let's click the model drop down menu at the top here. Here's where you can select from various Adobe models, which are commercially safe, and their partner models like Gemini 2.5 Flash. So to use the Gemini model, let's select it here. And now the images that we create with AI will be generated with Gemini 2.5 Flash. So to get started, let's check out some of its basic capabilities. We'll see how good it is at handling simple and complex text prompts and check out the quality of the images. To generate images using text prompts, simply describe the image that you want to generate in the text field at the bottom here. So first, let's start with something simple like a serene mountain landscape at sunset. And to generate your image, simply click the blue generate button at the bottom right. The Gemini AI will then analyze your text prompt and after a few moments, your new image will be generated. And here's my image of a serene mountain landscape at sunset. Let's change the view by clicking the icon on the right here and click my image to zoom in and check out the details. As you can see, the images that Gemini generates are super high quality. We can see the light rays from the sun and even the reflection of the trees and clouds in the water here. I think this looks great, but let's say you wanted to make edits to your image. Instead of opening up your image in a complicated photo editor, we can simply type in the changes that we want to make using Gemini 2.5 Flash. As you can see, our previous image has already been added here as a reference image, so whatever we type in will make changes to the selected image. So for my mountain landscape here, let's see if we can add birds flying in the sky. And once you enter the changes that you want to make, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom right. AI will then analyze my prompt and provide me with a new version of my image based on my request. And if we check out my updated image, we can see that birds are now flying in the sky. That's a lot easier than trying to add them in manually. And when you're ready to download your image, simply go to the download icon here and download it to your device. But not only can Gemini 2.5 Flash handle simple text prompts like a mountain range at sunset, but also intricate multi-element prompts without losing coherence. So to test this out, let's start by removing our previous reference image here. Now we should be able to generate a brand new image. But for this image, let's see how Gemini 2.5 Flash does when analyzing complex text prompts. For this example, let's see if it can generate a photorealistic image of a bustling Tokyo street at dusk and autumn. rain slicked cobblestones reflect neon signs from ramen shops and vending machines. A salary man in a trench coat holds a glowing umbrella while cherry blossom petals drift in the wind. Let's also have it include realistic lighting from street lamps and shop windows, with subtle steam rising from the food stalls. The overall mood should be serene yet vibrant in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So with this more complex text prompt, we'll be testing the AI's real world logic such as weather effects and cultural elements and see what comes out. And here's my AI generated image. Let's click it to get a closer look. So as you can see, the image is highly detailed and shows my bustling Tokyo street. It has my rain slicked cobblestones with neon signs from the ramen shops and vending machines. My salary man in a trench coat holding an umbrella, cherry blossoms drifting in the wind, and has realistic lighting from the street lamps and windows. I would definitely say the mood is serene yet vibrant, but the only thing it didn't do was generate my image in a 16 by 9 ratio. But to easily fix this in a matter of seconds, we can simply download our image, upload it to Adobe Express, and use the resize tool to resize our image to whatever aspect ratio we wish. And when you click the expand image option, AI will automatically generate the missing parts in your image. I can now click resize, let the AI work its magic, and in a matter of seconds, my image has been expanded. 
My image is now 16 by 9 and my street was expanded using AI. It even provides several variations on the left hand side here that I could select from. And once you select the one you like, you can enhance it further using Adobe Express tools or use it for your next social media post or whatever project you're working on. So next, let's remove the reference image here so we can generate a completely new image and take a look at photorealistic versus styled images. Gemini 2.5 Flash can generate any style image that you need, but let's see how it does with photorealistic images of people. For this example, I'm going to ask it to generate a hyper-realistic portrait of an elderly fisherman on a boat with detailed wrinkles and ocean waves. I can then hit generate and let's see how realistic this actually looks. And here's my elderly fisherman on a boat. Wow, this looks super realistic, like it could have been taken with his smartphone on the boat. The wrinkles on his face are super detailed, and even the ocean waves in the back. But if you wanted to add a little style to your image, you can easily do that by simply entering a new text prompt. And remember, when editing your image, make sure it's added as a reference image here. So to stylize my old fisherman here, let's ask AI to generate an image of the same fisherman in a watercolor art style inspired by Van Gogh. And once you tell AI the edits that you want to make, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom right. AI will then analyze my text prompt, and after a few moments, my image should now be stylized. Let's click it to get a closer look. So as you can see, all of the elements from my original image are still here, but it's been transformed into a watercolor art style. And if you look at things like the clouds here, it looks like something Van Gogh would paint. Feel free to try out some different text prompts and see what kind of styles you can generate for your image. So we see that Gemini 2.5 Flash can easily stylize images. But now let's dive a bit deeper on how to edit images with text prompts, also known as conversational editing. So for my example image, let's see if AI can create a portrait of a young explorer in a forest, wearing a backpack and holding a map in a realistic style. I can then click the generate button, and after a few moments, my image will be generated. So here's my young explorer in a forest holding a map. I think the image looks great, but her outfit could use a bit more flair. So to edit my image, let's add a new text prompt saying to change the outfit to a steampunk adventurer with goggles and a leather vest, but keep the face and forest setting identical. And to update your image with your new prompt, simply click the generate button at the bottom right. AI will then analyze my new prompt, and after a few seconds, my image should be updated. So let's zoom in and see what we got. So if we look at my explorer now, she now has goggles, knee pads, and other steampunk accessories. And if you look close, you can also see a leather vest, but her face and the setting remains the same. But if I did want to change the setting, I could just type in a new text prompt like change the landscape to a field full of colorful flowers. I could then click generate and my setting should be changed. So instead of spending hours editing your images, you can now do it in seconds using Nano Banana. So we've gone over how to edit your images using text prompts. But for our last example, I want to go over one more cool thing Gemini 2.5 Flash can do, which is character swaps. Using text prompts, we can easily swap or replace characters in our images. So for this example, let's generate a photorealistic image of a man and woman having coffee at a local cafe. Let's also give it a cozy atmosphere. I can then click the generate button and AI should generate my image. And here's my photorealistic image of a man and woman having coffee at a local cafe. But let's say I want to swap their positions and have the man sitting by the window and the woman on the other side. I can simply go down to the text field here and type in the text prompt, swap the position of the man and woman. I can then click generate and let's see what the AI comes up with. And voila, my characters have been swapped. And if you look at the table, the setting, and even the woman in the background, everything remained the same. So as you can see, Gemini 2.5 Flash, also known as Nano Banana, is a super powerful tool that allows anyone to edit images using only text prompts. Go ahead and head over to Adobe Firefly and try out the Gemini 2.5 Flash partner model and see what you can generate. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.